Hi everyone, Brooke the Broker here. I wanted to put a quick video together to tell buyers how to prepare yourself for purchasing a home in this new real estate market. So stay tuned. Buyers, the market has shifted and things are looking better for you going into the latter half of the summer. So as the filming of this video, we are here in the second half of June of 2022. And I'm telling you buyers, you have about three months to take advantage of the lowest interest rates you'll have for the rest of the year and for the most amount of opportunity, most amount of homes on the market. It is happening right now. So number one, yes, I said the lowest interest rates that you'll see for the rest of this year. You've got to buy when the interest rates are lower. They're not going to go back to where they were at the beginning of the year. And if you watch the video right up here that I did at the end of 2021, I advised all you guys to buy sooner rather than later. And I tell you the reasons why in this video. So be sure to check that out. But the interest rates are not going to get that much better. So here are some programs that are out there that can help you out. Number one. There are some lending institutions that have a lock and shop plan. Most of the time you cannot lock into your mortgage interest rate until you have a contract on a house. Well, there are many lenders that are out there right now. Two of my lenders do this and you can lock into an interest rate today and go shopping for your house over the next 30 days. These locks usually last just two months. So you literally need to find a house and commit on a house in 30 days and then close in another 30 days in order to take advantage of it. But you have an opportunity to do that in this market. So if you'd like a referral to one of those two companies, just let me know in the comments below and I will send you a referral to those companies that are offering those programs. Another thing for buyers is inventory is increasing right now. And that is because one, there are fewer buyers out shopping. So the inventory is not moving as quickly, but also there are a lot of sellers who are scared to death that they miss the mark and they're putting their houses on the market right now. So right now there's a lot of houses on the market and we're seeing it grow almost 10% every single week right now. There are more houses on the market now than there were last fall and a lot fewer buyers. So there's more opportunities for you to look at homes. But in looking at homes, you also need to understand that the mindset of some of these sellers is still the same as it was at the beginning of the year. Some of these homes don't look beautiful. Some of these homes might need some home improvement. Some of these homes might need a little TLC and you need to take that into consideration in looking at the homes. I will say the homes that look good, that smell good and are priced right are still getting multiple offers. So I'm not saying you're gonna have, you're not gonna be competing for homes, but if you are willing to deal with the few minor imperfections in a home, you might be the only offer and you might get a great deal on that home. And your real estate agent can refer you to people to take care of the paint or to change out the appliances or to update the flooring in the bathroom or to power wash the house. We have those recommendations that we can give to you. So more opportunity is out there, but not all of it is squeaky clean, nice and beautiful. So take advantage of the fact that you might be able to negotiate a better deal on something that's not as brand spanking new and totally, totally gorgeous. The other thing for buyers is right now, you need to be aware that in the near future, there are going to be some loan programs that come out from random companies that sound too good to be true. And I'm telling you right now, if it sounds too good to be true, it is too good to be true. Many of you who are here, you did not experience firsthand the mortgage meltdown in the early 2000s, okay? 
It was caused by too good to be true lending practices. Do not get caught up in that. Make smart decisions, make slow decisions, and if it's too good to be true, it is too good to be true. So another great opportunity for buyers going into this new market just in general is you have the opportunity to possibly just assume the mortgage of the seller. What the heck is that? Well, I'm going to do another video on loan assumptions to give you all the nitty gritty about it. But basically, it means this. The seller is selling their home. They have a mortgage that is assumable and you can just take over the rest of their mortgage at that interest rate, 2.5, something like that. Now, typically they have some equity and what they owe on the mortgage is less than what they're selling the house for. So for that difference, you would need to take out another loan or pay it in cash. And we can talk about that in the assumption video, but all you have to do is qualify for the combination of the two. And with that interest rate for the majority of the loan being half of what the going rate is, that is a great opportunity for you. Now, in the assumption video, I'll also talk about with loans that are assumable, um, especially with veterans, how they get their entitlement back and all that kind of stuff. I'll go over all of that in another video. But that is a great opportunity that you have, and it'll probably come more into vogue in 2023. Um, and in my predictions video, I will tell you why that is, uh, but loan assumptions are going to be another tool that's coming up. Now, why did I say these next three months are going to be a great opportunity for you? Number one, it's the lowest interest rates we'll have for the rest of the year. That is number one. Number two, inflation is happening every single day. Gas is going up every single day. Everything is getting increased in price every single day, which means houses are still going up in price every single day. So the sooner you buy, the cheaper the house, the lower the interest rate. And right now there's less competition. Now I will say in the last quarter of this year, October, November, and December, a lot of sellers are not going to have their houses on the market. And the only people who are putting their houses on the market are people who need to sell. They are relocating. Someone has died. There is a divorce. They absolutely need to uh, get a bigger house or they absolutely need to get a smaller house. The only houses that are on the market are people who need to sell. And we're going to have a serious inventory problem in the last quarter of this year. And though the number of buyers has decreased, when we get to the last quarter of this year, the number of buyers decreasing is going to be fewer than the number of homes decreasing. So we're going to see supply go down and demand go down not as much, which leads to price increases at the end of this year. So these next three months, July, August, September, those are your best opportunities to secure a great, great deal. Now, some of you are thinking 5.75%, 6%, 6.5%. Why would I do that when rates were just at 2.5%? Well, number one, they're not going to be at 2.5% for a very long time. And number two, how much is your auto loan? How much interest are you paying on that? And that's not an asset, okay? It's something that loses value. If you have credit card debt, how much interest are you paying on your credit cards? I have a feeling it's not 6% buy the house, buy the house at 6%. You'll be happy you did. And that rate is not permanent. If rates go down, refinance. Make sure in your paperwork for your loan, you have the opportunity to pay off the loan ahead of time and not get penalized because you're going to want to refinance when the rates go back below it. So that is my take on what buyers need to do in this changing market in the next three months and some trends that you'll see leading into next year. If you or someone you know wants to buy a home this year, click on the link below and I will send you my free e-report of buyer guide for summer 2022. And if you're watching this at another time or another year, you can still click the link and you'll get my most recent buyer guide emailed to you. You just fill out a little form with a couple bits of information and that form comes to you and there is no further solicitation or anything like that. I want to keep you guys informed, so go ahead, click the link below, and get your buyer guide today. 
And of course, if you like videos like this, share it in the comments below, or if you have other topics you'd like me to talk about, let me know that too. I'll see you next time.